Good morning, everyone. We continue here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim <clears throat> about what you're allowed to believe and not allowed to believe when you hear from other people. Even if the report that you hear is for toel, is for a benefit, because someone wants to tell you something. And that which they're telling you doesn't make the person in question Rishoyim, they're not wicked people. Just you need to hear the negative information about them properly to guard yourself. In my embassy, Tom, if the report is true, we can assume that it is true. Nevertheless, you're not allowed to accept the words of Lashon Har from them, and to believe them without the shadow of a doubt. There's always got to be a question in your mind whether or not what this person is saying is actually true. I'm not allowed to believe the words of Lashon Har. The Ein Chal Shem Eidus Afilu Al Shnayim Vayisel Bebezdin. That that the word Eidus testimony only is deemed legal when it's two people and they are in Bezdin and they are in a court of law. But if they're outside of the Bezdin and they're outside the court of law, we don't we don't call that testimony that the Torah accepts. Avachusa Bezdin. Lai, but outside of Bezdin law, it's not considered to be legal testimony, and therefore you cannot accept it. Even if they say Sheker outside of Bezdin, falsehood. They're not called false witnesses. I mean, they are called the Maitse Shemra, somewhat slandering others. Like we find in a Sefer called the Smak, which is a very well respected Halacha Sefer from years ago. Says the Chavetz Chaim over here, if you hear something from two people that's outside of Bezdin, even if they're reliable and the like, you still are not allowed to fully believe what it is that you heard. The Kolze, all of this that we're talking about over here is Lahachli. That's to conclude that what you heard is 100% true. Avalochosh, but in order to consider that maybe it might be true and therefore you're going to guard yourself because that's the reason that he's telling you this information that you should be careful, mutter that itself, you're allowed to, you're allowed to do. Kanal, even if you only heard this information from one person and not from two people, still you're allowed to believe if the person that's telling you is a reliable person and you know that he's telling you to Ellis for, for your benefit, to help you and to protect you, you can listen you can be cautious, you could suspect and consider that maybe it's true, but you're not allowed to accept it that it's actually true. Then so too says the Gemara, says the Rechavetz Chaim, If you hear a rumor circulating around about a person who did, uh, did or said something, and it was not done according to the ways of Torah, meaning you heard about someone who broke the laws, and it's not good. Whether it was a very severe prohibition, or was a minor one, you are not allowed to accept the rumor that you hear. And to believe it completely. You're only allowed to be concerned that maybe it might be true until you clarify whether it is or whether it's not. How careful a person has to be. If you now heard this rumor that's widespread and you want to go share it now and spread it with others, you cannot do it in a way that you intend to spread the rumor further. Like we said above, you have to take a good look over there. You have to look back in the Sefer and see exactly what it means. If it comes like, Klachayad in, in in passing in conversation, maybe it will be okay. But if your intention is over here that you want to spread the rumor even more and clown yourself for how what a bad person what he did, that much you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to do that. Again, if you need to warn somebody for toelis for their own sake that they should know, don't get mixed up with this person. That you're allowed to do, and even the, but the person that's listening is only allowed to be suspicious of what you're saying, cautious of what you're saying, but they are not allowed to be macabre, they're not allowed to accept it as being the undeniable truth. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.